Okay guys, today we're just about a day and a half in and excavating for a, a house with a walkout basement and attached garage and I just wanted to show you a few steps here. I was training with a couple of my apprentices and just showing them how frost walls work and how you gotta maintain uh, at least four feet below grade wherever you have a walkout. So what we're looking at here is we're standing on the walkout um, portion of the basement. So this would be at ground level as you walk out of your basement. Now what we're looking at is the side hill as it comes around down the side of the house. And then this is where the front of the house is. And then this wall is the wall that divides between the house and the garage. So, well today I forgot my, forgot the freaking, not the tripod, but the holder to hold the camera to the tripod. Uh, remembered my mic though, so that's pretty sweet. I wanted to just show you how the steps work and uh, just because it's hard to visualize how all this is, is supposed to go but essentially as you come out of your walkout basement you still have to have a minimum of four feet of, of concrete or foundation below grade below the ground level so now we're at a point where the basement uh, part of the excavation is level well we actually have to tweak it a bit it's it's got a few humps and lumps and we're out about two inches so we got to fine-tune that but we're also we're trying to get the hole running we got to clip the top corner of that excavation off clean this bottom of the hole but then we're ready to do our steps so I guess since I forgot my the holder for the tripod I'll just try to be gentle here I got some blue paint on the side bank here so hopefully we can see it So we got a trench going out because we have a water well over in that direction to the east. So we got to bring in some water in that. So we just started that. And then there's some blue paint on the, the bank. The first one on the right, it shows that's where we have to start our first step down. So basically the bank is our elevation. There we go. Now I can see it. So right right there the footing is on the ground and then our, our foundation is above that as the grade slopes down we're not going to have a full four feet of coverage so we got to step it down now we we build icf full icf houses the block we're using right now is an 18 inch height so we'll drop the footing down 18 inches we'll bring it horizontal then we have to drop it one more as the grade gets less we got to drop it make sure we always have our four foot frost, uh, below frost and then we'll continue over one less step or one more step down another 18 we have 54 inches total and then we carry that elevation 54 inches below grade all the way around this is be come around the corner this will be the back of the house And then over here now that orange line dictates you know as the wall keeps going alongside and around the back of the garage this these blue marks is like I said the wall that divides the house from the garage so we're you know 54 inches below we got to step those up quickly to get back up to this elevation that we're on now um, there's a few other things going on but like I said we're just waiting for the hole to get started and coated out we're gonna keep digging here but I'll just let's walk up here you know I apologize for the shaky camera we're gonna keep rolling and then I'll show you as we go okay so here you got to imagine we're gonna have a trench 54 inches in the ground about five feet wide we're going to come across and then this first blue mark we're going to come back up we're past the walkout and then if you look the grade of the land is going back uphill so this brings us step one up 18 inches then there's another blue mark there that's another 18 and then this third one brings us to the level 
of where the basement is at. But when you shoot a laser level around here, that mark is roughly well, up four foot of ground covering our foundation. Now, because the garage, we only need, you know, like I said, I'm gonna repeat myself a million times, four foot below frost. Or, well, I said that wrong, but whatever. So, the garage, you don't need to have a full eight feet in the ground. You only need four, let's say. So we gotta step it up three more risers. So we have this one here. We're gonna step the garage up here. And then if you see our orange paint here as I come up, we make the corner. But because of the shape of the land, we had to really stretch our step footings out. We come around the corner about eight feet. We have another step up. Then that last, that blue stake on the left is our last step up. Then as you come around the front of the garage here, we're four feet below frost. And then as we come up to the corner of the house, we got to step back down. Uh, we got to step down three steps to the basement height. So I'm going to take a look for my little tripod holder here. Gives you an idea of what we're looking at. Hopefully you can help visualize you know, what goes in, all the thought process before you even start building a house is all this thought. You got to think about the elevations, you know, where you come into the garage, where you come into the house, you know, your window heights, all that stuff, your step footings, foundations. You know, it's the fun part of the job. Uh, just want to shoot this. Hope, hopefully it gives you guys a better idea of what's involved. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Seven hours later, we have all of our steps cut into this uh, foundation. So I'm kind of looking at the similar camera angle that we looked at the the, uh, the first video. So this is the side hill with the three steps. So, you know, as I pan around, this is the basement of the house. That's the front wall. And then now you can see there's a couple steps leading up to the garage elevation there. So we'll do a little tour through there. But like I said before, you only need... Um, four feet in the ground so that's why you step it up save some concrete costs excavating costs all that so no use having eight feet of foundation in the ground just for a garage okay okay so that trench hole that's just for water not going to the water well so yeah we've dropped an 18 inch elevation and that's just to create the walkout so there's another one and then the third level down there. And then that height maintains all the way around the corner. So we're four foot six inches below grade all the way across this back. So now where the walkout was earlier in the video, you could see it was flat, but now we had to put the dirt somewhere. There's a pile of dirt these guys dug out, okay? So we're coming through here and then see there's three steps up for that divider wall between the house and the garage. So there's one step, two, and then three, we're back at the basement height. Okay, so let's do a little tour here. Sorry for the shaky camera. Okay, so yeah, we're th three steps below basement height. So as we come around the back, here's one step up, two, this is three. So now we're back up at the basement level, but you can see by the bank, we're roughly four feet in the ground. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. As we come around the corner, so now we're back going, working up towards garage height. You can kind of just follow the grade. It's rough for now. Yeah, if you follow the grade, it's rough for now. But, you know, s stretching these steps out allows us to get more of a gradual grade drop from the front of the garage all the way around the side and back to the to the walkout. If you close your steps up too close together, then you have more of a steep cliff. 
So here we go. And one last step. And then this is the front of the garage right here. So when we're all said and done, this will need a little bit of backfill to get us four feet below frost. Here's where the front of the garage is. And you can see the house ahead. And we come back down three steps of 18 inches. And that's her guys. So I hope that makes sense. You can kind of see the work that goes into a, uh, a walkout basement and attached garage. But uh, hopefully you got gathered something from that and uh, thanks for tuning in. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or check us out on some of the following.